This one stood out to me because it was a fresh idea for the Europeans in tackling the crisis. And it comes from two very influential economists writing in the Financial Times. Thomas Meyer, of course, an advisor to Deutsche Bank, formerly the chief economist there, and Daniel Gross, who's at the European Policy Studies. He says Germany needs a sovereign wealth fund. This would help solve a lot of problems. He says, imagine a government agency offering German savers a secure vehicle, guaranteeing a positive real interest rate. It would invest the funds in a diversified portfolio, including assets outside the eurozone, which given stronger growth prospects would be more likely to generate positive real returns in the long run. Yes, it's a lot of economic mumbo jumbo. The bottom line, it would help weaken the euro, which they both say is critical to the solution well, in helping the peripheral Europe. And it would help German savers. Anyway, I just thought it stood I, out. I, I'm a, glad you bring nice it up. I, I, I know Dr. Mayer and uh, Gross have, have written this up a lot. To me, it's just a substitute for this ERF. And then nobody really wants to confront how you establish the trust or reestablish the trust to get to a full faith and credit European and portfolio. And not just Germany, yeah. And this is, I like your idea of a German sovereign wealth fund. That's something I haven't heard as well. My must read. Every word of it, Sarah, is brilliant. Everybody read whatever your politics. David Brooks uh, with tongue firmly planted in cheek. The real Romney. The Harvard years. Sounds like Stan Freeberg. After his mission, his Mormon mission, where he went away for a year or two, uh, he attended Harvard studying business, law, classics, and philosophy, though intellectually his first love was always tax yeah. avoidance. It's a, a great effort. I'm sure everybody will be talking about very, it. Very, I like morning. how he said that he was given the name Mitt after the Roman god of mutual funds. Yeah.